All right, so in today's video, I'm actually gonna be showing you how to add this cool wave effect to any model you might have. In this case, I'm using a custom typography I did, and this is how it came out. So if you guys actually wanna learn how to do that, you're on the right video. Let's jump right into it. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and open up Blender. We're going to get rid of our defaults really quick. And now you want to bring in your own type of, type of object, whether it's a logo, uh, a knife, um, anything, anything you want to bring in. And uh, you want to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and, and import my typography. So I'm going to go to my uh, hard drive and uh, search up Cosme Typo, I believe that's the name of the file in my case. Uh, bring that in really quick. As you can see over here, I have a outline and the fill-in. Uh, for this specific location, I just need the... <gasps> Sorry. I just need the um, the inside, the fill. So I'm gonna go ahead and RX90. I've done this so many times on my previous video, so I'm gonna go ahead and go pretty quick. Select on my object, go to the object data properties, geometry, extrude it a little bit somewhere around there should work. Uh, right click, convert to a mesh. And uh, what I want to do right now really quick is go to Cycles instead of BB. Um, GPU, Compute Selected. You want to go ahead and bring in a uh, HDRI. So go to Color, uh, Environment Texture, Open. Just search up Free HDRI on Google and you'll come up along a whole bunch of websites with Free HDRI that you can just download. I'm going to go to my Downloads, EXR for the HDRI. And I'm going to bring, uh, let's, let's bring this one in, why not? Let's go to Render View. And uh, over here, we got everything going on, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, and apply a material to my logo. So just let's say we're gonna add a glass material. So roughness all the way down and transmission all the way up like so. And um, as you can see right now, it looks super sharp. Um, to show you something really quick, uh, go ahead and remesh this really quick. So remesh, smooth, remove this connected, bring this all the way up to, I would say nine or 10. Uh, it all depends on what your com computer can handle. Control A to apply the uh, modifier. I'm gonna go to sculpting really quick. Bring the uh, select the smooth um, brush. I'm gonna go ahead and bring this, make this bigger, and uh, just make this smooth like so. Really quick. All right, go back to layout, and uh, so you can see now it looks a bit better because you can see this nice. Um, edges going on right so right click shape smooth make sure you do that as well so you get a really nice clean um look on your shape and uh yeah so now uh the important part of the tutorial this is what you guys actually probably came in for is the only, the only reason why i actually set up the whole thing is because i actually get a lot of beginners asking me how i go through the whole um uh why i don't show the final result which is what i usually show in the preview and that is due to just saving some time but again i guess it is better if i show the whole process make sure you guys know more or less what i did and whatnot right so anyways going into what you guys actually came for um it, it's this is super easy and simple and the way i found out about this was i was just playing around with the modifiers so all i did was i selected my object i knew i wanted some type of animation going on with the type typography or the text um, I just didn't know what. So I was just searching, searching, searching. I came across Wave. And um, when I had play on the space bar, it's doing this weird wavy um, effect. But it's not performing correctly right now. And that is due to its origin point. So the origin point, so you can see, it's all the way on the left. You want it to be on the center. So that way, the whole typography has movement. So to do that, all you want to do is, and this is something that a lot of you forget to do. Um, so you guys always want to make sure. Sometimes you don't need it, but most of the time, it's like 90% of the time, you'll need to do this. Uh, make sure you set the origin to geometry. And as you can see now, it's doing the wave on its center. So that's, that's what you want to do um, for this uh, animation. Now, keep in mind while you're Playing the animation, you can go ahead and play with the fall off. So you can play with the fall off, bring that up, bring that down. Uh, you can play with the height. So, so you can see it goes opposite right there if you go negative. 
right there it's just right you know not a lot to bring this all the way up it'll it'll really go hard <laughs> you can play with the width as well and the narrowness so right there she's doing a boom boom so again play around with these settings and you'll get you'll, you'll, you'll come across some cool stuff i think you can also toggle these right here so it's just doing is that or if you want to do this one right here so again just go ahead play with it have some fun see what you like render it and again if you guys want to post it on your ig and tag me uh cosmic or on my instagram but anyways if you guys did enjoy this video please make sure to drop a like down below comment what you want to see next uh and subscribe if you're new to the channel come on